Hi, this is Cameron Bright, and uh, this is my mini audio commentary. Yeah, and so this is my scene um, in X Men where where I get found, and uh, yeah, it was interesting meeting Kelsey Grammer or the Beast. We actually uh, I got to meet him before filming with him, and he was filming at uh, the university, and he was getting all this stuff put on, and it was very interesting because he's like a third the size with that off. <laughs> like they, they added they added a lot of muscle weight to him with that bodysuit. Oh, okay. I can tell you that yeah. much. But yeah, no. Super interesting and it's funny because I'm I'm actually possibly trying to revisit this character in a script I'm writing. Um okay. but yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's just uh it was awesome for me being able to film and like I was a fan of the X-Men movies obviously growing up. And so when I got this job, I was stoked. Um, I was so happy, and it also filmed in Victoria and Vancouver, so it was nice and close to home. They also had me shave my head, which was interesting. Like, I got the choice, kind of. Um, so I was bald for a good, like, three or four months when I was, like, 12. <laughs> and um, that that also made interesting things. I got a lot of strange looks. People would come up to me apologizing in the street, and I'd be like, why? And they'd be like, well, you do, know. Do you have cancer? Oh, I don't do have, have cancer. Do you have lymphoma? <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm an X-Men. <laughs> Chill out. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, so it was, it was interesting. But either way, this was yet again for me growing up this was one of my favorite movies to be in just because i was a fan of the lord of the rings for me it was ian mckellen meeting ian mckellen i was like oh my god oh my you're my gandalf. i was like you're gandalf yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then i remember he walked up to me and he gave me we didn't share any scenes together but he was on set the first one of the first days that i came yeah he came up shook my hand and gave me a weird look and he was like so you're the one causing all the trouble around here and i was like <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, you're talking about my character. The best person, the reason why, meeting this guy right here, um, good old uh, 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 Vinny Jones. He was oh, a character. Yeah. He was a character for sure. I grew up playing soccer and I didn't necessarily know who he was at the time mm. until I met him because he, he was kind of one of those guys where he was very much like, almost how you would expect i like met him and he like shook my hand and he's like all right so you're in here i'm assuming you want an autograph right and i was kind of like um, <laughs> no but sure why not and he was like oh, okay. i'll get you one of these and he pulled out a photo and i was like what is this oh, and he was like you don't know what this is this is my most famous moment and it was the moment where he uh grabbed the guy's testicles oh, and man. like squeezed them <laughs> yeah he's that photo for me and he went off about like the story and he was like oh yeah well you know when when you're playing footy and and you're, you're a striker and you have that that one defender who's always on your ass well yeah i had that guy and he was always on my ass and i figured the best way to get him away from me would be you know Bra grab, grab his balls <laughs> yeah <laughs> so he, i grabbed him and i gave him the old helen hunt and and he was like, I, I thought I was gonna get away from it. It'd be all right. And he's like, and then my coach came up to me after that game and told me I was suspended because of a photo that had been released. <laughs> and he like, he's like, yeah, this is the photo. Well, so yeah, I got, but, I, I went home and I googled him after that. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, this guy's nuts. Yeah, of course he is. He's German uh, rock, uh, bitch. The strangest thing is he, he walks with the the picture on his pocket. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's his moment. <laughs> Just in case. Oh my god! When we were filming this scene um, at the end, when uh, Kitty Pryde or Ellen Page there, when she says, "Who's hiding, dickhead?" She was saying another line for a while, like, and it and it wasn't working. And Brett Ratner, as a director, is very like um, we called it. Uh, it was the it was funny the first ad called it the one more take series because he would always say one more take but there would be like 30 more takes like he was just, <laughs> that's great 
got it's it. It's Kubrick do all one, over again. One more safety, and we do it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And this was one of those scenes where he was like, "It's like it's just missing something. Like it's you know, like what's the line? Like it's the line at the end or something." And it was actually my mom who was like, "Well, his his head kind of looks like a penis. Should she just call him a dickhead or something?" And right away, my <laughs> right, Adam was like, "Yes, yes." Like yes, <laughs> call him a dickhead. That's perfect. Yeah, and yeah. Is, is, that, is, like, is oh this movie PG thirteen or can can we use it or? Dickhead is okay. Yeah, yeah, he definitely questioned, and then they were like, "Yeah, dickhead's fine." <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs>